honored by 24 number French polycatheter in the prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. Postpartum hemorrhage defined as blood loss of more than 500 ml in vaginal delivery, 1000 ml in case of cesarean delivery. It is one of the major cause of maternal morbidity and mortality. Around 25% of maternal deaths will occur due to postpartum hemorrhage in a year. Its incidence is 5% of deliveries and its prevalence is 6%. Maternal mortality due to PPH in developed countries is 1 in 1 lakh, as a, whereas is 1 in 1,000 in developing countries. More than 88% of maternal mortality will occur within four hours of delivery, which indicate it is a consequence of third stage of labor. Nearly 99% will occur in poor resource settings. It can be avoided through proper prevention, diagnosis, and management. We know primary PPH is most commonly around 80% is because of uterine atony. So we know management of postpartum hemorrhage is approach, approach where medical line and surgical line is there. Before starting medical line, we will uh, see for retained products and general trauma, uterine message, administration of uterotonic agents like oxytocin, ergometrine, mesoprostol, and prostaglandin up to. If it is unsuccessful with these measures, we may end up with operative therapy like laparotomy for systemic devascularization, uterine compression sutures, and hysterectomy. In between these two lines, there lies the uterine deponent role. Regarding uterine tamponade, in 1983, Goldroth has told and Gordon's G. acetol, Rother et al. told polycatheter can be used as uterine tamponade. Even WHO has said balloon tamponade is recommended for the treatment of uterine atony. WHO, FIGO, ACOG recognize it for low resource areas, rare blood transfusions, surgical interventions are not available. It can be used for temporary measure while awaiting transfer or shipping the patient to higher center. We know commercial catheters available like Sengston, Blackmoor to Rush Urological Catheter, Buckley Balloon, but cost is a limiting factor. Condom catheter is cheap and easily available, but difficult in preparation and assessing the blood loss. So there is a need for an another viable alternative, which is economical, readily available, and easy to use, which are quantify the blood loss. So viable alternative is 24 French polycatheter. So our study aimed at to evaluate the efficacy of intrauterine balloon tamponade by 24 number French polycatheter in prevention of atonic postpartum hemorrhage. Ours is prospective observational study. It is conducted in the Department of Obstetric Gynecology, Gadag Institute of Medical Sciences, Gadag, India. Duration was five years from May 2017 to April 2022. All the atonic PPH cases, which are vaginal delivery or cesarean section, which has not responded to medical management have been included only those patients who had given consent for the study. Hemodynamically unstable patients, suspected uterine rupture, traumatic PPH, Suspect case, cases of sepsis, anomalous uterus cases were excluded from the study. These are the instruments we are using. Sponge holding forceps, one speculum, 24 number French polycatheter, 100 ml narval saline, 10 ml syringe, and a roller gas. We have tested, tested 24 number French polycatheter after inflating with normal saline, it can withstand up to 150 ml. It will burst at 175 ml. In our study, we have used 80 to 100 ml normal saline. Coming to the procedure, patient was put in lithotomy position, parts cleaned and draped, cervical exploration done to exclude the traumatic causes. If minor cervical or vaginal tears were there, that has been sutured. Cervix will be held with two sponge holding forceps. With aseptic precaution, 
24 number French poly catheter was in, inserted in the uterus using sponge holding forceps. Catheter will be inflated with 80 to 100 ml normal saline. Vaginal plaque with roller gauze is given to provide mechanical compression and to prevent expulsion of polycatheter. Then catheter will be tied to the right thigh with moderate traction. Eurobag connected to the polycatheter for assessment of blood loss, which will be corrected in the Eurobag. But bladder catheterization done for assessment of urine output and input output charting. Quantitative measurement of blood loss will be measured in Eurobag for analysis of success of the method. Patients are continuously monitored with respect to pulse, BP, oxygen saturation using multi-para monitors. Ox oxygen supplementation given if necessary. Usually, stoppage of bleeding occurred by 5 to 15 minutes, but slow bleeding can be there, which is comparable with normal vaginal bleeding. If any deviation or deterioration of the patient condition, surgical manage management of the decision has been taken. If the patient is stable, intraterrene balloon tamponade kept for one day or 24 hours, then it is removed. Total number of deliveries in our duration is 24,592. Total PPH cases were 1,205. Total atonic PPH cases were 961. 161 cases were excluded because of exclusion criteria and patient who are not given consent. Total study subjects were 800. This is a schematic diagram. In 1200, not 5 PPH, 961 autonic PPH, among 161 excluded, 800 were taken in the study. Among 800 cases, 766 patients managed with polycatheter, 34 patients required surgical management like compression sutures and stepwise devascularization, even subtotal hysterectomy. Most common age group was 20 to 25 years, which accounts for 57.75%. The mean age of the patient was 24.8 years. In our study, 42.75% were primary gerida, 39.12% were para 3 and above, rest of the cases were para 2. 63.63% were vaginal delivery, 30% were cesarean sections, and 6.38% were delivered by operative vaginal delivery. Among 961 cases, it accounts for 79.75% atonic PPH. Rest of the things are traumatic, combined, and broad ligament hematoma. Total, 1,205 cases. Coming to the outcome, that's the result. Polish catheter was successful in 95.75%, that is 766 patients out of 800. Only 34 cases required surgical management. So our success is 95.75% and value was only 4.25%. Where surgical management required patients were 34%, that is 12 patients had required uterine compression sutures, eight patients along with compression sutures, uterine adrenalization was done. In 10 patients, compression sutures, uterine and internal adrenalization was done. In four patients, that is 0.5% required peripartum or subtotal hysterectomy. In 800 subsects, 91% of patients, that is 728 patients, Polycatheter was inserted within four hours of delivery. Rest were, that is around 72 patients, required five to 24 hours interval. Those 72 were rapid case from the periphery. After application of polycatheter, bleeding was stopped within 10 to 15 minutes. The average of 0 0.87 units of blood products, that is ranging from zero to four units were required to stabilize the patient. Anemia was the major complication, which contributed up to 59.5%, followed by preeclampsia, which contributed 32.5%, that is 260 cases. 
propylactic antibiotics was given to all the subjects there was no intrauterine infection documented by clinical signs and symptoms coming to the discussion part our study is comparable with success rate nehar et al and tamur et al studies which both have 98% and 87.2% our study has 95 and 75% in in case of uterine salvage our study is also having highest result with compared to other studies like josi bangal et al mukerji et al and even ramlinga pasi et al which is study of india which has shown 95% our study is uterine salvage is 95.75% coming to the conclusion application of intrauterine balloon tamponade by number 24 french poly catheter for prevention of pph is easily available cost effective efficient technique can significantly reduce the need for surgical intervention it is particularly useful in low resource settings fair immediate blood and surgical intervention not available a potential life saving measure in prevention of atonic postpartum hemorrhage this it can be used for temporary measure while shifting the patient to higher center take home message is the intrauterine balloon tamponade by number 24 french poly catheter is effective simple economical for preventing blood loss in atonic postpartum hemorrhage thank you these are my references if any thank questions are there uh, thank you for the wonderful presentation do we have any questions